Okay, to start with, open your image in Photoshop by selecting File, and then Open, and then from the menu, select your drawing, and then press Open again. To work on the image, you'll need to unlock it. To do this, double click the lock icon. This will bring up a new layer option, which you can rename if you like, and then press OK. To rotate the image, go to Image, and then Image Rotation. There are three major options, and also Arbitrary, where you can select a smaller figure for more intricate rotations. Another method is to use the free transform tool. To do this, select edit and then go down to free transform. To ensure your new rotated image is straight, you can use the ruler tool. To do this, drag horizontal or vertical lines from the measurements above and to the left of the canvas. This will ensure your image is perfectly straight when it's rotated. The triangle icon represents the angle which you can change by typing in numbers until you reach the desired rotation. To crop the image, choose the crop tool from the left and then drag a box around the selected area. Press enter to finish. Once you've created a box, you can also change it. The easiest method to create a white background is to select the current background and then physically replace it with white. To do this, click Select and then Colour Range. To select the current background, click the Dropper tool and then choose areas of grey on the actual drawing. Areas that you have selected will come up white in the Colour Range box. The Dropper tool with a plus icon next to it will allow you to select multiple areas of grey. Once selected, adjust the fuzziness until the section drawing is clearly defined and then press OK. All of the colour selected will now be highlighted. Note how the black has not been selected. To replace the selected area with a white colour, select Edit and then Fill. Choose White from the drop down menu or Colour to choose your own and then press OK. To deselect the area to continue working, press Select and then Deselect.